Now, students at Morehouse College are reflecting on the legacy King left behind. Morehouse College was not only where he got his bachelor's degree, it was also the site of King's final service. Channel 2's Lori Wilson continues our live team to coverage at Morehouse College in southwest Atlanta. Lori King has a lasting connection to the historic school. Absolutely. On this windy day, lots of people have come by here to the Martin Luther King Jr. International Chapel, named for the man considered the college's most illustrious alum. And this, uh, after Dr. King was funeralized at Ebenezer Baptist Church, there was a public service here at the Atlanta University Center. At the time, it was all of the colleges together. Right now, it's Clark Atlanta. But it was in 1944 when a 15 year old, Martin, came here to get his degree in sociology. Obviously, before he would lead the largest nonviolent civil rights movement in history. He'd also go on to receive the college's first honorary degree ever given. Today on campus, students are reflecting on that legacy. It helps me within my future, being that I want to create something that um, the world can. Um, you could say an act as like a change, something that's small that has a big impact, similar to what Dr. King did. So, yeah, it does impact my future really well. Obviously, lots of students here very proud to be standing on the shoulders of Dr. King. This chapel was built for Dr. King and dedicated well after he passed in 1979. But there's a special connection between this chapel and Martin Luther King III. I'm working on that part of the story for you for Channel 2 Action News at 4. Live in Southwest Atlanta, Lori Wilson, Channel 2 Action News.